got stabbed five times. I woke up in hospital. It really hit me hard. You're seeing actors, but you're hearing the actual voices of those who have been the victims or perpetrators of knife crime. This new Home Office campaign is specifically targeting the young, ages 10 to 21, to deter them from carrying a weapon. Five News followed Crime Minister Victoria Atkins as she visited the major trauma unit of St Mary's Hospital in London. It has witnessed a significant rise in stabbings. We want to reach uh, young people before they make that fateful decision to pick up a knife. We want them to stop, think twice and think again. And that's what this knife free campaign is about. Despite various amnesties, knife crime across England and Wales rose by a fifth in the year leading up to last September. No surprise to those who treat the young victims of violence. We've seen an increase compared to last year. Being on the front line, we still are seeing lots of young people coming in who are victims of violence and knife crime. I mean, it's happening every day here. We work in a busy um, London major trauma centre, so we get a lot of young people coming in with these injuries. We brought together two people who've seen their lives changed by knives. Michelle McPhillips' son JJ was stabbed to death a year ago. She says the new government campaign should be aimed at children as young as seven. They're seeing it on social media anyway. They're seeing it on the video games where they go and arm themselves up and stuff like that. That's fantasy and we need to make sure that that remains fantasy. Charity fundraiser Shane Yerrell suffered serious head wounds in his stabbing 11 years ago. He thinks the new ads will have an impact. I think it could work, 100%. If you, if you catch the kids at the right age and, as I said before, let them meet a mother that's lost a son or a daughter as a result of knife crime, that is going to settle in their mind, isn't it? And they will remember that as they get older. Posters in several cities will also urge youngsters to go knife free as knife crime continues to blight society and the young lives caught up in it. Julian Drucker, Five News.